All right, let's clear contingency contract um, nine, uh, the challenge one. So I will, I will do challenges in order. So from challenge one to six. And um, yeah, the first two challenges, for example, we can do together. This is this is not the first one. This is because on the yeah because I already completed, so it's on the first place. But this is the first one, and this is the second one. Anyway, so we're gonna complete them together. So just to bring these six uh, tags up. If you want, you can complete them one by one. Huh? It's not a problem. You can complete this one first, and then this one. But the sense that they use the same strategy, and uh, even the if even if the tags are together. It's not a problem, we just do them together. So, pick this, and uh, the squad uh, is like this one, basically the same squad we used for the for the Risk 18. We already know how it works. Uh, Mirtol, core operator, Sultra from the support unit if you don't have. Three of your best snipers, 100 guard, two facility deploys if you don't have, just to bring Yato as the second one. Then um, the rest of the slots just to bring operators to stall. Okay, that's it, let's do this. So first of all, immediately sniper here face on bottom side. Then first the sniper here, this one. Second sniper here face on left side. Third the sniper here face on top side. And we don't need to worry about these enemies anymore. Now let's just keep going. Ranger the guard here face on bottom side. Keep get DP. Great, this is a sniper skill. Okay, after you kill the this sniper on the left side, you can retreat the this sniper. Uh, I mean, the, after you kill the egg uh, with the this sniper, you can retreat the sniper. Well, um, then just uh, we cover the flower with, with one of the faster deploy. And when this one dies, uh, replace with the, the other one, like this. And on the right side, this time you can don't retreat the snipers, unlike the risk 18, because the flower cannot survive till this part, so they will be safe. Go to here, face on bottom side. Great skill. Oh yeah, just to prepare Sultry in advance. For me, it's a bit too late, so he will get, she will get stunned. What to do in this situation? Just to deploy the fast deploy here and bait the boss skill. Uh, yeah, actually, she killed in time. But remember to deploy Sultry already before the boss spawns. So you can have the skill already. Anyways, later then just fast deploy here to block, so Sultry can kill that flower as well. Now retreat the steel. And now sniper here face on the right side to help kill this egg. As you can see, these two, uh, these two snipers are still safe. Just manage to kill the flowers on this section on the left. Again. This one. You can retreat the sniper because this egg is dead. Nice, just like this. As you can see, the flower just dies there. Now, when the first egg dies, deploy Sultra here and retreat to these two operators. Also, deploy here to pick up this one. Sultra skill around now when the boss is here. And after the second auto attack, deploy the um, how is it called? The defender here to bait the boss's skill. As you can see, the boss will start to jump. After that, uh, deploy a uh, faster deploy here to bait the boss uh, auto attacks. And uh, here we go. Now we cap this flower. You still have 3 HP, so you can let one enemy go through. If you want. Just to block the flower. Okay, last two and no, last one enemy, and here we go. Challenge one and the challenge two done. And the two. 
We can go with the third one. So just to click on clear first and then challenge. Okay. Okay. While for the challenge number three, guys, uh, is basically the same strategy. It's just you need to add more operators to stall. So just to bring one more faster deploy, even if it's level zero is fine. If you don't have, you can use like operator pseudo faster deploys because um, like J for example, J, um, where it is, uh, Mr. Nothing. Uh, then uh, Mr. Lee, they are saved the faster deploy, so you can use them as well. Then more defenders to stall, etc. And then, uh, yeah, assault roll from the support unit. So let's do this. Basically, the same strategy. It's just that the flower will be tankier, so you need a more operator to stall and kill them. Anyways, immediately, Venga here. Sniper here, face on left side. GP. Sniper here, face on left side. Sniper here, face on right side. Ranger guard, face on bottom side. Okay. When this enemy spawns, the flower, just to prepare the um, first faster deploy to block. And then when this one dies, wait a bit. Okay, right side, 19 enemies, retreat the two snipers, prepare Sultra here, face on bottom side, and then deploy another faster deploy here to stall. Here, activate the Sultra skill when the boss spawns. Okay, retreat to this one. So now with this one. Okay, and then stall with that defender. On the bottom side, yeah, just uh, wait a moment. If you can deploy the um, fast deploy in time, good. Else, just de deploy a defender is the same. Here, when the defender gets stunned, just retreat. The flower will die. Okay, here retreat this two. And then deploy this one. Faster deploy. Well, here activate uh, Ranger Guard skill. Okay, Flower will die. Sniper here, face on right side. Sniper here, face on left side. And the Sniper here, face on left side. Get the P. Faster deploy. Retreat this sniper. Top side, this, uh, yeah, just let this guard the dice. Okay. Let's deploy. Save the faster deploy. Defender. Sword or not yet, and you need to wait for this egg to die. Run now. Let's already play again. And when the boss is around here, not yet, around here, activate the Sultu skill. And deploy a defender here to bait the boss attack and the skill. Now the boss will use the skill, as you can see. So just to prepare a defender here, to block. And kill the boss, nice. Last three enemies. Now, there is a flower, so let's just kill the flower. Deploying this one to block. Get rid of this one. Sultra will die from the talent, yeah. The snipers will get the stun later, so it's fine. Here you can just uh, do this one to block. If you want, you can let the two flowers leak. So you don't have problem to stall anymore. Yeah, just the leak is uh, easier. But uh, remember to kill this one. So this. Okay. I mean, with the operators you have, you can, uh, yeah, you can just keep stall this flower. But uh, to make everything easier, Licky, lick him, or lick it is better. As you can see, really simple. Challenge 3, done. 
Nice. Now let's do the challenge number four. So let's retreat to everything and just click on challenge to select the, the stu the risks. Challenge number four, also really simple. Just need the same squad, same strategy, guys, with the soul tour. But uh, you need, uh, you will need more vanguards to get more DP at the beginning because the DP cost of ranger units is tripled. Thank God that they are just the snipers, so their cost initially is pretty low. So it, even tripled is still fine, manageable. So get more vanguards and then a soldier from the support unit. Then the rest of the strategy is basically the same. Only the beginning, you just have to deploy the vanguards to get DP, while the rest, uh, yeah, all the same. So flag vanguard. Normal Vanguard, KTP, another normal Vanguard, single block Vanguard, now just wait for more DP. Sniper here, face on left side. Back on the Sniper here, face on left side. Ranger the Guard here, face on bottom side. Sniper here, face on right side. And now, yeah, after we deployed mainly the two snipers on the right side, you don't need to worry anymore. Because since we only took the risk attack, which will increase the stun duration of our operator and the DP cost, enemies uh, will not get buffed, or yeah, or our operator not, will not get debuffed. So we can just keep the snipers here, the flower, we can just kill them here on the left section. So in the end, yeah, we didn't buff enemies or debuff our operators. Only the DP cost. As you can see, we can kill these flowers really, really simple. Play a defender here to bait the auto attacks and the skill from the boss. Keep stall the flower here. And then deploy someone here in front of Sultor to bait the attacks. Okay, no need to worry anymore. Just like this. Auto retreat. Cure the flower. You just use this one. to everyone even if you let the flower leak it's okay because you have 3 hp but anyway so just uh, yeah he will just die really simple right this one done let's go with the challenge number five so clear everything and click on challenge this time we have enemies will be a lot of dangerous we have uh, this one which is enemy uh, our operators will have less hp and we have uh, this one which is uh, DP cost of medics and the supporter are uh, lower. Hmm, do you... what does this remind you guys? It's basically the same strategy we did for the risk 18, right? It's just during the risk 18 we had this one, so this two. But this time we, we will have this one lower. So, yeah, without just buffing enemies, extra enemies, without buffing eggs, etc. Basically we can use the same strategy we did for the risk 18. Just to get the sorcery again, and for the squad we can, yeah, we can just don't change anything. Uh, we don't need the vanguards anymore, so just retreat them maybe. But uh, bring more operators like defenders to stall enemies, since uh, we have uh, our operators will have less HP, so faster deploys so will survive. Um, yeah, we will not survive that much. And better if you bring a medic as well, guys. Just any medic. Here we can don't pick this one to be honest. Okay, then the sorcerer. Let's do this, because uh, yeah, remember, uh, enemies will be will have a lot to attack. Our operators uh, have reduced HP, so midnight. Uh, I mean, the ranged guard here will take more damage, right? So better if we, if we have a medic to heal. Of course, if you have a stronger ranged guard who can survive to the enemy spitter damage, uh, you can don't yeah you can don't pick this medic. Even Lancer two can work, I guess. Ranger guard here, face on bottom side. Now wait for DP. Just so deploy the medic here, face on right side, and you're done. Retreat to this sniper, no need anymore.
Yeah, raid, 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 just see Spitter. You can see the damage is pretty high. Okay, well, on bottom side, just stall. Oh yeah, the boss is spawning, so just retreat. Deploy Sultro. Activate Sultro skill. Okay, then first redeploy here. Block, so Sultro can help kill this one. Now you can retreat. Because the flower will just die here. Sniper here, face on right side, to kill, help kill the eggs. Kill. Okay, but on left side, let's wait before waking up. Turn now, let's do it. Okay, this is a sniper. This one. This one. Okay, now just let the flower die. After the boss used the skill, I retreated these three operators. Sort of here when the egg dies. And uh, let's don't recover the flower this time. Because he's tank here. So now, Sort of skill when the boss is here. Just want to bait the damage and the skill from the boss. After the boss unleashed the skill, deploy a defender here in front to bait the auto attacks. And then just. Uh, uh, yeah, in theory, Sort of can do it. Yes. Okay, last enemy. Why I say the last enemy? Because the flower, we can just uh, let him go. As you can see, it will still take a lot of damage, better if we kill. Today, Doctor is not ha un hungry. Oh, yeah. Challenge 5 done as well. Now we have the challenge number uh, 6, but I don't have that uh, risk yet, so I have to wait tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's wait tomorrow, then uh, I will upload the, the, the guide. Okay? Okay, so let's clear the challenge number 6. Clear everything and select this one. Alright, enemies will be a lot of tankier, and uh, we have a lower attack, and the skill points will be <laughs> harder to activate. Anyway, so this is the squad we're gonna use. With the core operator, soul to regain. Well, this time I ask you to get to one, a maximum level one, because you need to kill the enemies as, as fast as possible, okay? So, yeah, a maximum level one if possible. And then you need the flag vanguard, elemental medic, guys. If you don't have one, you can exchange uh, honeyberry from the shop for 600 red certs. Or just chestnut is pretty common for star to get. After that, uh, you will need a uh, AoE guard, dualist guard, two of your defenders with the lowest attack. To be honest, this one uh, you can choose um, Gami, because I tried with Gami and 369, uh, 370 attack is more than enough. Beagle is a bit... Uh, Beagle is also fine. So just uh, no over 370. Actually 350, around there. Less than 350 is okay. Then uh, you need uh, two of your best fast redeploys. Uh, if you don't have, you can use Yato. Then uh, your best sniper. Actually, not uh, your best, because if you have, for example, Exia, Ch uh, Arketo, uh, you would be fucked, because the egg will just uh, kill you really easy. So bring uh, just a cruise if you have a 3-star. A weak sniper. Then last the three slots, I advise you to bring more ground units to make the stage safer. So add more defenders, um, more faster deploys, uh, sales though faster deploys, uh, etc. etc. Every everyone you want. Okay? Then uh, let's do this. Even without these last two operators is okay for me, but better if you bring for for like uh, um, extreme situations. If you have backpipe plus uh, a little too Myrtle, uh, you can deploy immediately Myrtle to get DP. Else, uh, just wait uh, and deploy Sultra first. Here, face on left side. To kill the first wave of enemies and to kill, take down those two eggs. But be careful because the corruption damage explosion can still reach her. So we need to combine with the elemental medic, then we activate Sultra skill. Okay. 
Okay, let's heal. Reset to the auto attack. When that UX dies, uh, um, how to say? Uh, Vanguard here, sniper here, face on right side, AoE guard here, face on top side. Dualist guard here, face on top side. Get DP. Now, every two operators can handle the flower and letting the flower dies here. If you only use one flower, the flower will do a circle and dies around here. Uh, so the problem is uh, up to you. If your elemental medic is uh, strong enough, so even, even if the flower pass through here, so damaging this operator, your medic can heal them, it's okay, you can let the flower just using one. Also just to try to kill him here, using two operators. I will show you when the flower spawns. The spitter is out, okay. Here we go. Let's deploy. And just to keep the defender uh, Vanguard here. I mean, the uh, facility uh, deploy here. Retreat this one. Here, activate uh, both uh, AoE guard and the Duelist guard skill. We this time don't use the Sultry here face on bottom to kill because remember the enemies have 120% more HP and we only have one Sultry. If we kill this one, we cannot handle the other one anymore. And uh, because even if we deploy here face on left side, yeah, it's hard to kill. So we have 3 HP. Easy way is to leak one of the boss. Which one to leak? This one is better because this one, the root is just this. Well, look, look at my mouse. Here we go here to the blue box here, this one. The other boss will go downside, so we must kill this one going downside, because later we have to defend the here. So this one we can leak, because he's going here, while the other one we must kill, okay? So now just let this faster deploy. Okay, let's kill this one. Retreat uh, this operator. Let's kill the last enemy. Then retreat this operator as well. Okay. Nice. Now let, let, let's just uh, let the boss go through. This boss later will idle here a bit, but we don't need to worry. Around here, deploy the faster deploy to wake up the flower and handle the flower here. Okay, let the boss go. Don't deploy Sultry yet because the boss can reach him her. Second faster deploy to kill this flower. When the splitter is going downside, you cannot leak because the boss will take 2 HP. We can only leak the boss. So just to use the defend one of the defender with the low, low attack, you can see only 200. Just to deploy here. We should this one. When this boss, you can see the boss is not here anymore. So inside the Sultra attack range, deploy Sultra, face on top side. We take down this one, this other second boss, which will idle here for really long. Now deploy a faster deploy here to wake up this flower. Just activate the Sultra skill when he's ready. Deploy a sniper here, face on bottom side, I remember. Face on bottom side is because we needed to kill this flower as soon as... Uh, yeah, just faster. Okay. Here. This one got stunned, then just deploy this flower, this finger to stall. And this one. Okay, the flower will die around here. As you can see, Cruz will kill the flower, then later these two eggs will be blocked by the defender. So for now everything okay. As you can see on top side, Sultur managed to kill the boss. That's why you need a maximum level Sultur, because around here, a bit later, the boss will start to move. So we must kill before the boss to start to move. If you have someone in your squad who can buff, for example, Warfarn, you can deploy Warfarn here face on top side to buff, or Scuddy, Chal Chal no, Scuddy Alter, so Sculter here to buff. Um, the buffer you cannot, because if you deploy Sudran here, we'll get uh, richer. Maybe Sudran here face on the upside to debuff. Better if you use a Term X, because Term X just to deploy the explosion will debuff the enemy. If you have a lower level Sultor. But if it's maximum level, you don't need to care or worry anymore. Then, uh, when this spitter, so 24 enemies, this spit, you can, when you see there is a flower and there is a flower, spitter, deploy. There is the guard here to kill this spitter. Sultor. Okay. 
AoE guard here on top side. When a Sultur dies, you will get some DP back, so you will be able to deploy the AoE guard on top side. Bottom side, the Cruz is still attacking, okay? The flow Spitter. Now the Spitter dead. We can. Uh, the sniper will just focus on killing the egg. When you see these two eggs are starting to move, we deploy um, Norcorn, so the defender with the lowest attack here, to tank them. Lowest attack because if you have a defender with too high attack, you will damage too much the egg. The egg, every time he loses a bit of HP, will explode, so it will kill everyone. That's why we need someone with a low attack. But on left side, oh, this is too dangerous. Let's, let's retreat to the sniper. First. Because the sniper is damaging too much the eggs. Okay. After you kill the spitter here in the middle, you can retreat to Melanfa as well. Top side, don't retreat yet because there's another spitter. Okay. Now uh, this flower will die here. Without damaging too much our defenders. Repeat again. Remember to start to wake up when you're sure that you have at least two operators to alternate to block the flower as the flower will come here gets blocked by norcorn and it will damage a lot the, with the corruption damage unless you have a really strong corrupt uh wandering medic okay nice top side everyone dead last four enemies don't use the sultor because the sultor will make you lose uh, the damage is too high what we do we can just use uh yeah, just to deploy the sniper here, for example. A sniper sniper at the cruise level, so around the 300 attack, is fine. Your even chestnut can manage to heal. To, to be honest, at this point, when you see that only 3 enemies remain, you can retreat to this one. Let this defender tank 3. So at least you will make sure that only one egg will be hit per time. So we'll only damage this one. Damaging only this defender. Even any, yeah, any Wandering Medic will be able to heal. So no need to worry too much. Like, let me do a wrong, how to say, demonstration. This is what happens if you use a sword. See? So just uh, don't do this. I mean, for the last enemy, yeah, you can. Here we go. Pretty simple, but the time... Uh, yeah, you need a lot of time to do this. <laughs> Week 1 challenge done. Hope this video helped you guys to complete all the challenges. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!